as it gets your attention right away. And this move, side by side, triple Salkaz, he doubled it. Double toe loop. the world title in Dortmund, Germany last year. They beat the defending champs, Shen and Zhao of China. The next day, while practicing for exhibitions, dislocated the shoulder, and they could not skate in the exhibitions. It took some time to, to rehab that. Their coach quickly out. Hard to tell from that angle. And emergency personnel also making their oh, way out. This is going to be such a huge, huge setback for this team. My gosh. Peter, we've often talked about how dangerous this is. But until you see something like that, it, it really doesn't hit home how true that is. This is absolutely the most helpless feeling you can have. Should we do this? Stand by the boards and watch. When your feet go out from under you and you drop your partner like that, it's just, it's the most horrible feeling. And right now they have to do the right thing. Oh. It's just horrible to watch. Oh. Uh, certainly everyone who just witnessed that, uh, saying a prayer right now. Damir Fedorovich, can you tell us something about what the actual situation is? Well, uh, I can say that uh, we are okay, in good condition. In good condition? After that fall, that's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, don't you think that this was just way much too risky? Well, no, no. You know, uh, we are trying to be better. And uh, if we want to survive in this competitional age that actually has arised in the last years, we need to be constantly better and higher and faster and more beautiful, you know? I mean, some people think that you knew what you were playing with. Playing with skills that you actually don't even have. You bet on unsecure capacities. You build up a big illusion with the help of the whole setting and the press and the sponsors. And you played with the expectation of the ordinary people that came to come here to see this. I mean, do you think that that's actually fair? Yes. No, you, what? Is it true that you actually acted with foolish, risky behavior, focusing on short-term profits without care for final losses? No, this is definitely not true. I mean, some people think that this was just not an accident. It was planned for your own profit. So my question is, did you drive consciously the whole thing into incapacity to act? You know, well, it went well as long as it went well. <laughs> But some people think, think that you're just using this situation as a way to ruin or to create a moment of reconstruction. And that you perform the role of the victim just in order to make others pay for your mistakes. You know what? Uh, we, uh, we, 
we, we want to go into details about that now. So how can we be sure that this is not what's happening right now? We don't know. We don't know. If, if the falls recur more often, then probably some kind of protection would be necessary. So which kind of protection are you planning, Mr. Todorovic? Uh, look, we, you have one more minute for this interview and it's over. Eh? So well, better make okay. your right shot. Then give me my last question. It's simple. Were you wrong? Um, partially. It's, it, it's important to distinguish the size of this problem and its nature. Listen, we made a mistake in presuming that the self-interest of the performers on stage is such that we were in best capable of caring about the expectations of the audience. Yeah? And uh, the fact is that we are here to defend the interest of the whole theatre and not our own desire. Is that clear enough? Thank you for this short interview. I wish you have a good continuance of your uh, show. Uh.